I'm scared. Hey everybody. We are gonna get this chain replaced. So this chain that's on the bike, I showed it to you in a previous video. Really bad condition, very rusty. So I just popped the clip off of the master, the, um, the master clip there. And as I knew, this is hard to get off because this is all corroded here. So I'm gonna pry and twist and spray and get this master link off of here. Um, get this old chain off and get the new one on. Luckily, the sprockets are still in very good condition, so I don't need to replace them. Oh, I hear somebody wanting to come out. So we'll get this chain replaced, and I think that's going to be it for today, is just getting that done. You know, the foot pegs are already on here. The tail tidy is already done. Save the blinkers, but that's later. I got to order a pair. So thanks for joining. Let's get this done. bad this is an o-ring chain there's the o-rings it's really too bad that he didn't uh, keep it protected so the two o-rings I, I guess I shouldn't talk the factory chain on my KTM it rusted up uh, you know I was carrying that bike on the back of the truck so it was getting wet from road spray and even though I lubricated it it did show some signs of rust and I ultimately replaced it with uh, the orange anodized one. So the one I'm putting on here is a gold anodized. I hope it's gonna look all right. Uh, they didn't have a black one. It's, you know, I don't wanna say it's the cheapest chain I could find, but it's not a super expensive one either. I didn't wanna spend that much money. stiff very stiff really bad condition look at that very stiff okay first thing I'm gonna do is lay out the new one there we go it's primary drive brand I guess I really heard of it gold what's that gonna look like Eh, that'll look good right a little splash of color. They had green, but you know, I didn't feel like going that far. Hey. Can I videotape you? Yeah. Why do people still say videotape? Record. <laughs> Can I? Yeah, that's a good one. Record because videotape is not a thing. I think he's starting to feel better today. Because well, that's the that's the most active he's been in a while. So hi, sweetheart. Hi. All right. So you don't 
don't ever put the clip on see the opening mm -hmm. so imagine if the chain is going like this you don't want the opening forward right because if it hooks on something it could pop this off so you always make sure you put it on so when this thing gets around to the top that side is forward mm -hmm. right Can you pick that up for me and put it in my fingers? Okay, now the special tusk. I gotta remember how they work. Like that. Maybe so. Done. It worked? Yeah! Yep, it's on there. Let me check just to make sure. Pretty sure it snapped in there. Yeah. You know how I'll find out? Hmm. Start riding it, this chain falls off. I know it didn't work. That's true. How does it look? Oh yeah! Right? Mm hmm. Lefty, how's it look? Uh, it's kind of very it's stand very, out yeah doesn't it yeah but it looks good you think it'd be better black no what about the tautness do i need to adjust that you don't want it too tight because when the suspension when this compresses it actually tightens the chain just because of the geometry that's mm -hmm. how they work that's why you have to leave them loose to allow for that suspension because if they're too tight and you, you do that it'll bind everything up it's not good and I've always been kind of a head case about chain tautness mm -hmm. because I'm not an expert at it. And I'm always like, God, is it right? I don't know. Let me get the manual and look. Let me measure it. And I think I put way too much thought in it. Yeah. And at one point in time, I had my KTM chain too tight mm -hmm. and it was making all this racket uh, going over, you know, rocks and stuff. And when I finally figured it out and got it the right looseness, it quieted up the travel quite a bit garbage goodbye goodbye old here chain. we go nice job previous owner dude i think that's it can you uh do the outro on the video uh <laughs> no <laughs> what do i say what do i always say i don't know you say different things don't you i always say hey thanks for watching uh, you have to turn the mic around Point the camera, Gosh. point the camera towards you and it'll turn the mic around. There you go. There you go. Yep. I'll look from down here so your arm isn't so much there. I'm scared. <laughs> Wait, I need to get in the sun you know, so all I have good light. Right? Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.